This is the end of the line, little girl. You've been out and up to no good with that trashy-ass Eleanor Rixby. That girl's got rising damp. Activate. Sir George, Dr. Evelyn. What do you got for me at Buckingham? Ben. Oh, hello, Whitey. How nice to see you. Get out of here, girl. What have I told you? This is top-secret police business. Don't take any notice of these two, dear. They're just under a lot of pressure with the Queen's hideous slaughter at the hands of a filthy mutant insurrectionist. You are? Yes, our dear Queen killed this very evening. What have I told you about divulging classifieds in front of my daughter? One can hardly talk, Benjamin. Be a good fellow and pop some pants on, please. Well, everyone knows I work better as nature intended. We've created this composite image of the brute. Composite identikit mutant loading. <laughs> Forensic evidence indicates two pairs of tiny Cuban heels. Trace felt fibers indicate hat. And bite pattern in corgis indicate massive molars. Hmm. Looks like Jimmy Marlon and Beck Free being mashed together, if you ask me. You got something to say? Because three candy-ass jokers dressed up like it's Halloween ain't high on my list of suspects. Now, you're a smart girl with a smart mouth, but they ain't synchronized. And I didn't ask you for your opinion anyhow. But, I was... but what? 
Is this the butt you're talking about? Get your butt out of here and keep it out of this. You two obviously need a bit of quality father-daughter time. We'll speak in the morning. Would you two please get with the program? I want a full report on my desk. I'm coming in. Activate. I'm sorry if I interrupted something important. Only the royal franchise is on its knees. And with it, the country! We have a suspect, Lord Rothwell. Some kind of giant insurgent mutant. Insurgent mutant? Hell's bells, Benson. When news of this breaks, I'll be forced to recruit some meddling special mutant specialist to reinforce the ranks, no doubt. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. Be back, soon, sir. In the meantime, make yourself useful for the love of Sterling and find those imbeciles, William and Harry, or it's your badge and your balls. Consider it done, sir. Young 三重法師期。I know where they are, Dad. Yeah, and I want it wrapped up before tea time. Tea time. I'm going to say this one more time, because even though I still hate you, I want to help you. I know where the bloody princes are! I heard you! And don't cuss at your father.
the business of ruling this green and pleasant land. This country needs new blood, your blood. Are you ready for that challenge? One was born ready, Rothwell. You could use your middle name and be King Arthur. Noble. I could be Merlin. It is customary. Oh, regal. Regal. Now, boys, I have some good news. I have secured a man with exemplary expertise and furious valor to track down the royal hitman and make sure your descendancy. Just bring on the orb and scepter. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Hey, William. I'm Alan Arthanayaka. This is the BBC News. Today's big stories. It's anarchy in the UK. As the great day approaches when the nation will pay its last respects to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, we take a look at the upcoming royal funeral. All the glamour. All the grief. I did was very nice people, I was a fan. Chinese take over from mutant infested Hong Kong. Will Teddy Foo Trump police chief Benson to become top of the cops? I'd say this beast has bitten off more than it can chew. Caught me napping once. Ain't gonna happen again. Mutant, you're going down. Super cop. Batman and Dobby my life. Is he Is there? You spotted it everywhere. <laughs> the UK goes mutant made him mental. He's everyone's favourite basketball and man of the year. Jimmy Freebie's offering a king's ransom for the capture of the Queen's killer. The nation's loss could be your game. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, I do. That's us of the hook, then. Well, actually and contractually, we still have unfinished obligations to the Star Chamber. Contract, and... smongtract. The Star Chamber can kiss my yuzza. Oh, Jimmy, I wouldn't. How'd you return me, I... <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> Please, it wasn't my fault! Silence! Freebies, we of the Star Chamber will not tolerate another failure! We made you, and we can unmake you! Shut up, Skeletor! Mock us, the Star Chamber, at your peril! You were supposed to mutate, not murder her! You wanted chaos, you got chaos! Look into my eyes. Am I lying? You have one last chance. Prince William is about to be crowned. He will not reign as human, but as one of us. 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 A mutant degenerate. Do our bidding or suffer the consequences, freebies. More like balls to the baby bastards. They said they'd make us. I can't go back to how I was. I won't go back. I couldn't bear the ignominy of mediocrity. What are we gonna do? Cool your boots. I've got it. Marlon, send out the invites. We're gonna have a killer party. By the time the house lights come up, William will be a degenerate. The nation will call him King Monster Munch the First. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah. Yep. Lord Rothwell. Yes, sir. Everything's running in order, sir. Ah, you can bet on it, sir. All right. Goodbye. Officer Fool. Reporting for duty, sir. Mm. Hold my calls. Well, I'm sorry to have dragged you straight in here off the plane, but this thing's got me spread thinner than an Alabama whorehouse when the Baptist Convention rolls into town. Well, that is not good, sir. No. Well, prostitution is a lamentable debasement of loving union. Damn straight. But that's not your worry. You're here as an expert mutant advisor. That's what we need from you. So, where do you want to begin your investigation, son? The crime scene? Excellent. Let's go. Now, 
Knock yourself out, fool. Excuse me for a minute. Every officer in... Workmen, as you were. All right, how are you looking? Ah, oh, fool. I hate to have to ask you this, but I need you to do a little babysitting for me tonight. There's a party for the princes, and I want you there. However, if that furry fiend shows up, you have my full permission to make mutant mooshu of it. Is that cool with you? That would be an honor, sir. Now you're going nowhere, never. That tag's connected to a tracking device. I'm going to know where you are night and day. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't try to play innocent with me, Whitey. Do I look like a fool to you? You said it. Tracking device deactivated. Generation night for party boy Windsor. This is how it's going to go down. Police Chief Benson will have assigned that special SWAT team. Ex-Benedict. So I want those mooks out of the picture pronto. He goes blinded to beat the bills out in the nest. Once we Willie and his kid brothers inside, without their babysitters, they're as good as finished. Keep the booze flowing. I want those monarchs mashed up. Smashed out of their faces. Then we drag the paralytic princes down here like lambs under the slaughter and pop them so full of Marlon's mutant juice they won't know what they know. <laughs> Taking down these spoon-fed preloaders couldn't be easier. It's foolproof. And God help any fool that founds this up. Let the degeneration game begin! <laughs> oh, no. Oi! Are you blamed? Remind me why I let you talk me into coming here. Well, firstly, because you love me. And secondly, and more importantly, to get off our tips. Oi! <laughs> I said, are you blamed? This table's reserved for the princes. I'm Harry, and this here's Willie. <laughs> Shove off! Come on, my man. Don't bog out the fillies, yeah? <laughs> Hello, William. Oh, the Lady Rigsby. Who do we have here? Badge up, girls. I'm sure you don't mind sharing. All right, we were just out of here. Whitey, it would be our pleasure. OK, but if you bore me, I'm leaving. Here's Harry! <laughs> <laughs> So when I'm 
king. It's going to be the 90s all over again. Cool Britannia. You know, when the Beatles and the Stones fought it out to see who had the biggest tallywhackers. Coming along for the ride. Princess. I warned you about boring me. Oh, well, well, what do we have here? It's a tracking device on the dangerous criminal, so I'd watch yourself. Noble! Wouldn't mind tracking you down, Whitney. I warn you, Bald Eagle, that patch on your head won't be the only shiner you're getting. I'm sorry, young lady, but your behavior is exceeding royal etiquette procedure. Here. If you like it so much, have it. See ya. She wants it, Harry. One is in. Regal! Terry Poole. At your highness's service. <laughs> Terry who? <laughs> JKD Special Envoy. On the hunt for your grandmother's killers. Ah, uh, okay, so you're star. Cool. Well, uh, bugger off, there's a good fellow. Yeah, mother fudge the police! <laughs> Is this man bothering you, your majesties? Oh, sovereign! Man, it's the Weeblies! I love these funny little guys. Um, <laughs> go, go, go on, show, show us what's, uh, what's underneath your bolts, huh? <laughs> you funny-looking bugger. Do that, poo man shoe! Why don't you get in the dance floor and show us what you can do? My orders are noble! Bust a move! Royal command performance! Highness! There it is. I really should. You heard their higher mightinesses! Beat it! That's good, that's good, yeah. Arise, Sir Weebly of Chuckleton. Use your footwork. I was the Beijing under 12s cha 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 champion. Do not try and talk your way out of this. 
What is this? Good cop, bad cop, stupid cop? Anything you say may be used as evidence against you. Well, try this one on for size, fathead. The freebies killed the Queen and I just stopped them nobbling the next in line for the throne. You are only making matters worse. I'm just trying to be helpful, Mr. Terry Fu, JKD Supercop. How do you know my name? I guess it's not your fault, I suppose. I mean, Benson's just protecting my cover. Your cover? I do not believe you. I mean, you obviously don't have security clearance or else we wouldn't be in this situation, would we? Let's see what the Chief has to say about all this. I can't wait. Then we agree. You're lost, aren't you? No. OK. Say I was lost, which I am not. But if I was, which way would I go? Well, I wouldn't go to the station. Look, why don't we go somewhere we can swap notes, save on paperwork and cook up a bullshit angle on this thing? I do not want to do anything dishonest. No, of course not. I mean, we can give each other a little hand. I mean, after all, police work isn't a competition. Thank you, ma'am. The honour speaks for itself. Music makes me vomit. You're going to be answering to accusations of police brutality. I do not eat that either. It is not good for you. Are you certain you're a police agent? I thought you had information for me. I'm not so sure bringing you here was a good idea. Change the record, Fu. I mean, do I have to spell it out for you? I'm a top secret agent. You're a superior officer. I mean, three people are guilty. It's got it written all over their faces, and you just blew a six-month sting, costing millions. So do not come all high and mighty with me. Sorry. Yes. I can see I've got my work cut out with you. And I can see I have as much to learn about this country as I do about this case. Bingo! Chucks! Please! You're messing with the elemental forces of creation. You don't mind if I try this on, do you? What have you done with the contents of the box? Daddy, I was with these things. <laughs> so that's why you've been hiding.
hiding it. Nice. <laughs> you mean they got it or not? And you lot are hot, hot, hot. Bring me the princess. <laughs> Lie, you fool. He speaks of one who is destined to use the loincloth to restore order. But it says nothing about them turning into hot pants. You know, well, they look really nice on, though, don't they? This is not a game, Whitey. Stop pulling things out of them. The Buddha's loincloth has an ancient power that must be respected. <gasps> the magic of the Buddha's loincloth is irrepressible. Master? Father Buddha created the world from within the folds. <laughs> Dread demon Li Long Chen coveted their power and tried to steal them away. The one who wields the loincloth will be a living Buddha. Good and evil are not always what they appear to be. Buddha is as Buddha does. It is clear to me now that you are the chosen one. Forgive me for ever doubting you. We must tell our boss of this momentous discovery. What have you say? down your top secret sting operation to bust open the freebies crime ring but something miraculous has come out of it it has been a night of mystic and epic proportions special agent action is a divine prophecy special agent who in her jimmy freebie and the forces of evil have met their match <laughs> tell him mighty hi dad don't hide Dad me. Dad? Take a look-see. If you're trying to get me demoted and deported back to Brooklyn, you sure as shit are going about it the right way, Whitey. Oops. Oops upside your head, Miss Thing. Now get up to your room. I'm about to tear me a page out of the Hong Kong Book of Kung Fu here. I, I do not understand, Whitey. I thought you were the chosen one. That our destinies were entwined. Whoa! I don't want to hear about nobody entwining here. He's not lying, Dad. Look, if you just let me show you and No, then... whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding? Get up to your room. Oh, you ever think I stopped the princess getting clobbered last night? Sir, I can explain all this. No, you can save your breath. From this moment on, you are suspended. Permanently. Alone at last. Is there anything I can get you? Caviar? Champagne? How's about a toxic cocktail being pumped into your cerebral cortex that would eradicate all traces of your humanity? You hang, Weebly. This is treason. You're right! It is! Do I look like I give a sod? Harlan, do the ginger binger first. Leave them alone! What is it you want, you... Lunatic! You can't give me anything I can't take. Do it, Marlon. Money! Nah. Um, land? Nah. 
A title? Nah. The crown! Oh. Crown? You could be king. Just... just leave my brother out of this. King, you say? Surely it can't be that simple. There must be laws about that sort of thing. Jimmy, huh? you're right, there is. Home Office Security Legislation 13.36.4 of June 12, 2010. Handed state of emergency executive powers back to the Crown. Huh? It means, if he says you're next in line, you are. Me? King? Do you think I could do it? Sure, sh sure, you you're princely. Takes one to know one. Declaration Prince Weebly. Da 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 da. Ah, maybe we should run this up the Star Chamber's flagpole first. They can stick their flagpole. There's a fresh prince in town. Me! We have all the major players here to give the two pence worth. Lord Rothwell, Prince William. Are you ready, damn man? I want to cut off your arms. Prepare to taste my dragon's course. Hey, Tyler. Sir, I thought I saw King Fire in so. Being a high tech man, sir. But he likes the ladies and he's just a good one. You don't even believe me. How can you trust any of them? You just say he's a high tech man, sir. Oh, it's you who told me. I can't believe you. I'm sure you're right. You will try this one on for size, fatheads. The freebies that killed the queen. Then I'll go to the king to hear his words. Fatheads, I'll go to the king. Even Buddha has the calculator. Up, up. It has been decided. I have decided. To abdicate the enormous responsibility of becoming your king to someone who is clearly far better equipped to take on this tremendously challenging role, Jimmy Freebie. I couldn't be more excited for my loyal subjects, ex subjects. It's regal. That might be the first sensible thing you've ever said, Windsor. Uh, Jimmy, what do you say? See, you'll say yes. I will and I do, but not just for you, Al. Above all, I'm a patriot and a man of the people. All I want is for the great to be reinstated into Great Britain. You're what's great, Jimmy. Or, or should I say your highness? Yes, you should. I'm a big man and I'll gladly accept this honour. We'll have a nice spring coronation three months hence. I hereby grant William and Harry exile in Ibiza with immediate effect. Yes. That's uh, smoke up your alley, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> so, uh, so what about last night, Benson? You screwed up. Fact. Now you've got a king to answer to. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> your Majesty, we all obviously regret the incidents of last night. I extend my full, unconditional and... Sincere apologies on behalf of my daughter and my officers. One more sir, to say it. Now listen here. Whitey action. You're live on air. What do you have to say for yourself? Sorry. That's more like it. It's the parents I blame. Jimmy Freebie. You are under arrest. <gasps> Jenny Fu, anything you see or do will be transmitted and used against you. What are you doing here, Fu? You, you have no jurisdiction here. What are the charges, Fu? Killing the Queen? Hey. Isn't that right, Whitey? Do something, Benson! That's it, Fu. Stand away from the monarchy! He is coming with me, sir. This is your last chance, fool.
Fingers am I holding up? Where's Whitey? She dosed me good. Yeah, me too. But it'd take a lot more than that to keep me down for long. <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, Foo, I've done a lot of stupid things in my time. But none of them live and on morning news. Here. In the week of this morning's shocking episode, Prince Jimmy passes his first decree as heir apparent. God save the king. We've suffered only unrest we can stomach. For the sake of national security, we will be crowned without delay. Terry Fool shall be deported, and a restraining order should be placed on Miss Whitey action. <laughs> Quite frankly, I wish I was going with you. This country's going to hell. There's more to this than meets the eye, sir. You don't have to tell me this stinks like a dirty dog's donut. But things just... Ain't quite as simple as you or my daughter would like them to be. I couldn't get your flights until after the coronation. Please, try to stay out of trouble until then. You can count on me, sir. I hope so. I really hope so. Oh, dear, what have they done to you? Let me get you out of those awful things. I'll take you home in a minute, dear. There. Thanks, honey. No, no. It'll be all right. No, it won't. It's a disaster. And... I know Daddy can be like a big old bear with a potty mouth. But can you try and imagine it from his point of view, darling? Hmm? Shooting him on national television wasn't the cleverest move, was it? He does love you, you know. I know, Auntie. It's just... He never listens, and you know, it's so obvious that the freebies are behind all this, and I just... Peacock, are you on crunk? If you haven't got anything sensible to say, you can put the kettle on, George. You know you may be right, Whitey. The test results from our forensic investigations are far from conclusive. We've run a Fibonacci correlation analysis on the modal waveform signatures within the biomolecular frequencies, and there's a distinct anomaly confluence. You just don't know what it means. Phew. I thought it was just me. We need some hard corroborative evidence. Only then can we start piecing things together. We can't go throwing accusations around willy-nilly. Look where that got you and your friend. What about this? <laughs> Biscuits! Don't pretend you weren't listening, George. Give me the jammy dodgers. You test this. See what you can see. This is madness. I could be here... Three months looking down microscopes. We haven't got three months. Look, Jimmy gets crowned tomorrow. Oh, come on, George. Sometimes you've just got to have a little faith. Chin up, chicken. Just 
Abbey there, Coronation House, number one, Coronation Street. Oh, Lord Rothwell, what lordliness. There's Chief Ben Benson, what presence. And uh, Lady Elna Rigsby, what a lovely hat. Look at their faces, look into their hearts. Hear what their faces and hearts say. They say, we're British and we're better than you. T-shirt. Came here to bring you these. No thanks. They're not my style. Take them back. Choose one will need them one day. Yes. The chosen one will need them. And you are him. Her. You. You are she. No, I'm not. I'm a liar, and I stole them from you. You cannot steal what is yours. I am the custodian, and I know who you are. Whitey, a wise man once told me that Buddha... But, what? Buddha is as Buddha does. Stupid is as stupid does more like. Whitey, you must have faith in yourself. Yeah? Well, that's got you and the whole sodding country. I mean, God only knows what the freebies have done with the princes, yeah? I don't think that tracking them down in Ibiza would be so difficult. Yeah, well, you've obviously never been there. That's it. Terry, you're a genius. The tracking device? Come on, to the phone bill. These things are all wicked. What do you mean? They are the Buddha's loincloth transmogrified, the very source of righteousness. Yeah, like I said, wicked. Where are we going? Let's see, shall we? Tracking system activated. Surprise, surprise, Jimmy's nightclub. I don't get it. That is not in Ibiza. Don't worry. I'll do the thinking, you do the kicking. Wicked. <laughs> This is the day, and what a day. A day among days for this man, and what a man. Prince Jimmy Freeby, a man among men, soon to be a king, a king among kings, the king of kings. Still words. Thank God you're here. We have to get out of this evil hellhole and stop that monster before he becomes king. No, it's attached to a bomb! I saw this one on episode 13, series 12 of 24. We'll be all right. Don't cut the red one. It's usually the trigger. Just hurry up, Whitney. We have no time to lose. OK, here we go.
it is blue, isn't it? Mm. No, numbskull. It's red. What are you, colorblind? It's called dyschromatopsia, actually. He's one of our hearts, he's one of our minds. He's one of us, and now he's one of them. Living head of the British Empire. He is the Archbishop, Chief Vicar. And there's the crown, a huge hat of power. A hat of power and jewels and fur. Metal. Precious metal. Heavy metal. What pomp? What a ceremony? What magnificent? What the f. Terry, it's time to let your fist do the talking. Let's put a stop to this shit. Done, baby girl. This just in from Evelyn. Burke's fur was an exact match to the DNA found in the Queen's bedroom. Looks like you were right all along. Who would have guessed it? Can I hand these muppets over to you now, Dad? Have enough fun for one day. Yeah. All right, let's get these clowns the hell out of here. Book them. Murder one. This house of God and kings owes a debt of gratitude to our friend from the East and your marvelous offspring, police chief.
Lily Allen and Friends is tonight at 10.30, her first adventure into the world of BBC Three, but it's EastEnders on the way. A little word in your shell like first. There's new drama next Monday and there's a sneak preview of that next.